The demand for home theatre system is high in Europe. Contoso Europe expects to be able to sell around 1,000 home theatre systems next year. Contoso in Europe has guaranteed to purchase 1,000 home theatre systems from Contoso in the USA within the next 12 months. In return, Contoso in the USA promised a discounted price for all home theatre systems Contoso Europe buys the next year. Contoso in Europe and Contoso in the USA both utilize the same instance of Microsoft Dynamics AX2012. Therefore, they can benefit from the built-in intercompany trade feature set. To understand how to define intercompany trading relationships and policies, please refer to CCAX2012 HTO201. Contoso in USA document the agreement using Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 sales agreement. We expand the sales order node in the sales and marketing module, and here we open the menu item sales agreements. To start the creation of a new sales agreement, we press the button New Sales Agreement. To create a sales agreement, you need to add basic information like the customer account, the currency, effective from date, expiration date, and the sales agreement cl sales classification. Once we have the basic information in place, we go ahead and press the button Line View. The line section contains information about the items covered by this agreement. Item number 1206 represents the home theater system. We expand the line detail menu and can now see more detailed information about the line. Now we have captured the agreement made between Contoso USA and Contoso Europe. Both companies wishes to be able to trace the fulfillment level of this agreement. Therefore, we synchronize the agreement to Contoso Europe. We press the button Generate Purchase Agreement. Once we have generated the purchase agreement, we can trace it from the sales agreement. All we have to do is to press the button View Purchase Agreement. Here you see the purchase agreement for Contoso Europe. We close the form again. Let's imagine that Contoso in Europe detects the fact that the sales agreement is only for a quantity of 500 and not 1000 as they agreed upon. Contoso in Europe contacts Contoso in USA and USA corrects the quantity. The intercompany sales agreement and intercompany purchase agreement is kept synchronized. So when Contoso in USA changes the quantity, the intercompany purchase agreement quantity was also updated. Now it appears the agreement is correct. Contoso in the USA then go ahead and confirms the sales agreement. We press the button confirmation and change the state of the sales agreement from on hold to effective. The creation of intercompany sales agreement and intercompany purchase agreements are now completed. Contoso in Europe do not store home theater systems. When the customer orders home theater systems, Contoso in Europe fires an order directly to Contoso in the USA. Contoso in the USA ship the home theater directly to the end customer. Customer 1101 calls and wants to place a sales order for one home theater. From the customer card, we press new sales order. We add the home theater system to the order line. Once the customer has confirmed the order, 
we go ahead and we order the item at Contoso in the USA. We do this by pressing the button Direct Delivery. It is already defined in the system that home theater systems are bought from the USA. So we accept the proposed vendor and include the order line. We press OK to end the ordering process. The infolog tells us that we have successfully created an intercompany purchase order and intercompany sales order. We quickly change to the intercompany sales order. We see the intercompany sales order references the intercompany sales agreement when pressing button update line attached. Here we see that we are referencing the sales agreement ID for this order line. Time passes by. Contoso in USA is ready to ship the home theater system to the end customer in Europe. To issue the packing slip and update the sales order to status delivered, we press button packing slip from the action pane tab pick and pack. We take a quick look at the lines. And since it matches our expectations, we go ahead and update the sales packing slip. The system is now updating all orders in the chain. We see the intercompany sales order has status delivered. We can see the intercompany purchase order has status received. We can see the original sales order has status delivered. Looking at the purchase agreement, we see that we have received a quantity of one using this agreement. Looking at the sales agreement, we see that we have delivered a quantity of one using this agreement. This ends the presentation of how to create and manage intercompany agreements. We encourage you to watch the reminder of a series of how to work with Microsoft Dynamics intercompany trade and how to work with agreements.